Hi there, this is uh, Stephen Ball and uh, this picture here on my screen is actually my son go-karting. He's uh, doing really well. He won the regional championships of British Indoor Karting last year and um, moved on to compete at the national finals and he's now taking his first season outdoors. And I want to show you and share with you how Delphi is actually helping him on his karting journey and helping me learn to mechanic for him as well. So we're using here a quick, uh, let me just open up. Oh. A Delphi application that I created for Android and this is actually using Skia for Delphi to do this pretty cool animation in here and if I go ahead and change the gearing ratio you can probably see that kind of speeding up uh, and slowing down accordingly. So typically we run around about a, a 19 and 76, 77 at our local club um, which has got a gearing ratio of 4. Um, so that's really handy if I needed to switch up maybe to a 20 clutch I can see the gearing ratio is going to drop to 3.8, which is then going to give me uh, better top speed, but slightly slower acceleration. Uh, and if I wanted to kind of match that gearing ratio through, then I'd be on a 2080. Um, so again, it helps me work out specifically with the, um, the clutch size and the chain size and everything I need to do the setup, um, how that's going to impact and change the performance of the car. So this utility app, um, was pretty quick and easy to put together. It's a single form application. I've got a simple calculation object in here, not a lot going on on it at all. I'm um, just do the, the basic math. And using the prototype bind source, I've got my data module here, which creates the object and links it to the prototype bind source. And in here, we can see the different fields that match the object. And then these are then bound to the screen. So if we go bind visually here, we can see here we've got the different properties from the objects surfaced through the prototype bind source, linking to the properties of the controls on the screen. And that's it. All we need to do is set that up. Uh, and then the button clicks here can literally go ahead and change the values. And then it just refreshes the totals. Really, really simple. So that's pretty cool. But I want to show you the animation stuff. So the animation here is using um, Skia, and Skia is pretty cool. That's using a Lottie file um, animation. So here we can see we can set the duration, we can set the speed, and so depending on uh, the actual ratio, I then set the speed. So that helps speed it up, slow it down as I change the the clutch and the sprocket to change the ratio, um, which is kind of sweet. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically I needed to open up the uh, the source, uh, load that in here. So how do I build this? How do I get this in the first place? Well, um, there's a free website um, called lottielabs.com. Um, I came on here and I just dragged and dropped and pulled down all these different shapes and created the, the controls that I want. Uh, and then was able to go ahead and set up the animations um, so I can then have this rotate run so I literally have this rotate uh, between two points. I was then able to export it out and then load that directly into my Delphi application. So using Lottie Labs here, I've then been able to convert this animation straight into my Delphi application for use uh, and control it with all the different properties that are set in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I can inverse the, invert the, uh, the it so it runs backwards. Um, there's loads of different things that you can set up and do really flexible but really really easy to be able to take this kind of really cool Lottie animation format uh, and use it directly in your applications. Cool, anyway I hope you found that interesting, happy coding to you and um, yeah let us know what kind of applications you're building with Delphi.